Well, we are we're still uh, in Los Cabos, in this beautiful uh, hotel, the Cape uh, Thompson Hotel. And it's an uh, honor and a pleasure to have a conversation with uh, Bill Mott. So you became a, a chef first and start to work? So I went to university first, then I became a chef. Um, uh, and I worked in London um, for 10 years, yeah, yeah, in the film and video industries. It's hard work, it's hard work being a chef. It's a young man's game. It's a young man's game. So as a, as a slightly older man, I decided I'd always written as a hobby and cooked for a living and I just sort of swapped the two around. So, so now I, I cook for a hobby, which is great, and write for a living. Um, and it allows me to come and visit beautiful places like this. Mostly I like writing about encouraging people to, to love food and drink as much as I do and maybe uh, since I spend all my time doing it I'm supposed to know what I'm talking about and I can give them a little hint of, uh, of, of about where to go on their next holiday or uh, or where to go for a lovely weekend or something like that. Well I mean everybody thinks that uh, everybody thinks of Mexico abroad and even in Mexico as being beer and mezcal or tequila and uh, and so to discover the Mexican wine industry was very exciting. But this is just another example of how Mexico is reinventing itself in terms of its food and drink. Uh, sometimes looking to the past, but also looking to the future. Wine can do is to express what the French call its terroir, where it comes from, its soil, its roots. Um, so it's not just some grapes that you might buy in a supermarket and turn into juice. You know, this, this is actually, the, the, the grapes are almost part of the soil, they're an expression of that soil. And Valle de Guadalupe has a particular character. Oh, Los Cabos is just, uh, it's heaven on earth, isn't it? It's fantastic. The sun keeps shining, the, the, the constant rolling waves, and it just seems like there is a, a slow, beautiful energy to this place. We've eaten everything from, uh, from humble tacos, which are fantastic, to lovely food from on Enrique Olvera, who's the consultant chef here and, and has his fantastic restaurant Manta, just a stone's throw away from where we're sitting. Um, and we've, we've eaten in, in farm restaurants, which is not really uh, Mexican cuisine, but, but hey, all the vegetables are grown here. They're organic, absolutely beautiful produce. And of course, the great produce around here is the fish and the seafood, and we've had, uh, had several bellies full of that, and it's wonderful. People are eating out more and more. They eat out not just because it's their anniversary or their birthday once or twice a year. People eat out a couple of times a month, even once a week. And they don't want to dress up every time, not when the weather's like this. You don't want to dress up all the time. You want somewhere relaxed. You want somewhere happy, somewhere fun. But what you also want is a serious kitchen. So I think that's the, that's the thing. Not too many starch tablecloths, not too much formality, but really seriously good food. Thank everybody I've met in Mexico. There's just been a, such a blast. We've had a brilliant week here. Yeah. And uh, I really hope to come back again soon. Thank you. Not Los Cabos there. Tourism Board are my favorite tourism board. <laughs> Bill, thank you very much. So You're kind. very welcome. Thank and you so much. Welcome.